thought of Black Lives Matter stuff on TV, and it was nice. It was the white man running everybody crazy. We said it on the, watch our stuff, see what we said. Then the, the other brothers that followed Imam Jamil pretty closely, they're martyred. And then right here they got my picture. It's supposed to mean the nigga, you keep running your mouth, you're going to be like your friends there. Well, we tell the boss man that he can kiss our behind. Over the last years and decades, if it's one thing we don't have is fear of the white man or what he'll do or what he can do. What he can do is try to rescue himself, and he can't do that. Our sign for his time to move was when they made this clown the president. He's messed up America so bad, and it's not pretend. Mess up. Some of it is pretend, but he didn't mess up America. In all of America, had, like I saw in one of the videos, some of the white people came over and they would donate and try to help y'all move forward. That's good. That's the same thing. We take the reverse issue. We believe that it's our duty to help elevate all humanity. The color has very little to do with it. Because that's what our book says. That's evolution. But for the first stage of this, we want to get all of the information packaged and distributed to tell the history what really happened. And the only ones that's active now is yourself. Sekou is kind of active, but he might need a little... Uh, he might need a little shaking, but he's all right. He, don't worry about it. Maybe that's my job. Well, not my job to go up and see because it's against the law for an ex-convict to be in close friends uh, with another convict that just got out of prison after 33 years in New York. So some kind of way. Maybe a few more will get involved. But it's our job. Out of those three people, we got the keys, the information. You were head of security for the Black Panther Party in exile. You took over the party. They destroyed the party, but they didn't destroy you. Why? Because you kept your consciousness and you've helped, I don't know how many, hundreds of thousands of children in Tanzania you took what God gave you to people that really needed it. Hey, man, and there wasn't a whole lot of people helping you. Just you and Charlotte was doing it. Hey, man, that's good. That's good. Okay. In the United States, people helped me when they thought they wasn't helping me. But there haven't been a whole lot of people running around blowing horns. Uh, what we did here in America was we kingfished the white man. Boy, look at here, I'm telling you. We kingfished the cracker. Yeah, that's what we did. We kingfished the cracker. We, uh, Y'all know who kingfish is. Y'all know who Kingfish is? Oh, okay. Because some people, you know, that was so long ago. I mean, in language, discombobulating, da 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 da. Boy, I'm telling you, we didn't Kingfish the white man. And it's good for him. Because sometimes he has to face some imminent danger for him to change. But we got a big job. We want to start with history, our history. 
that's already done, then we want to start with what we're doing now. And what we're doing now, that means what you're doing now. You're still teaching, training. We want to combine all of what we've acquired. And we want those healthy, wholesome, black ideas to evolve into leading America into this, the top of this next century. That's, that's our goals. That's what we're going to try to do. So what I'm going to do right now, we're going to do eight, six or eight of these programs. Uh, we're going to wait till this, all this stuff cool down, and we're going to be on the road, uh, and we're going to stop off at all the black uh, student unions and everything. Drop off a set of these CDs and ask them if you want to, uh, you know, hear the truth. They can call us, right? And we can pipe Brother Sekou into this. See, a lot of people have no idea, uh, Asada Shakura, uh, what happened? Uh, uh, they don't know. And when they don't know, the white man tell them, you know who's been telling our history? Boss man in his doggone movies. Them's the craziest movies, movies I've ever seen. They got the party burning down a building in Oakland that have a lot of dope in it. Remember that movie? It's not that I was the biggest drug dealer there, but I ain't never seen a building burn. And guess what? Out of all the famous people, do you know who they ain't never talked to? Is the poor brother. Ain't nobody talked to me about nothing. And y'all remember what was keeping the party afloat? What was keeping the thing focused? What was, you have to have money. Who was, where was it coming from? It's not we saying that now because we want people to recognize what we done. We don't want that. That's why we ain't said nothing in 100 years. Uh, 50, 50 years, 50 years. We ain't said nothing since then. But we can't sit still. It's hard to sit there watching that TV or going to the movie house and they show that stuff. They show that stuff and it just makes you sick. So we get a chance to, it'll go kind of like this. First we'll just start uh, uh, dusting off all the records and you can put together some temporary videos. I know y'all get all this stuff. For, you can put together some temporary stuff, send it to me, we'll duplicate it and we'll get it around. This is temporary, this is for like right now, next week, in a month, whenever you hear about this. Okay, the next thing is taking the whole record, the whole record, the Black Panther Party in exile, what is it doing now? What has it done in the last 50 years, right? What do we visualize the next 50 years looking like? See, boss man thought he had knocked us. Tell the truth. Boss man thought them niggas is dead. We're going to fool that cracker. We're coming right back now. If I have to come back with it myself, I'll do it. But I, I, I want all us to be to be uh, under it. Even when I was in Leavenworth, 75, 76, your homeboys in Kansas City, and even the Kansas City Star had, uh, would have an article in there every now and then about Pete O'Neill. And guess what? The whole fruit, I was messing around with the nation a little bit at that time, the whole fruit was them same niggas that you knew out there in the street. Yeah, Pete. Man, Pete this, man, Pete that. And uh, you know Pete, nigga? Yes, sir, I know Pete. Blah, 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 blah. I'm telling you, but the Kansas City Star didn't put it right, the newspaper. No, nobody's gonna tell our story. Well, I tell you what, if they don't get me by next week, they, this, half the story gonna get out. So they ain't got but a, a boss man, you got two, three days. 
If you don't knock me over going from here to the house, you finish. In fact, sucker, just the tape before and this one going to keep you off balance. Yes. Okay, let me get back to, uh, I have a lot of little papers here on legal stuff that happened, but I don't want to mention that. What I want to mention is what we've been talking about. We're going to be all right. And look right here. Y'all be proud of the Negro. The Negro, look at here. On Islam, it ain't no other Negroes. They got niggas going around talking a lot. They got mellow yelling them. You would be shocked that the niggas just be talking Islam. But none of them, they're all flunkies. They're all flunkies, you know. Uh, stool pigeons. The revolution is really something, just turn on the news, you get over there. In fact, Tanzania supports uh, at least some of the people. You know, it's a lot of Shias there in Tanzania, so don't worry, you'll be all right. But they... Asian Indian she is they got a few Negroes probably than the Bilal Muslim mission as 50 or 100 years ago uh, but just going on along with it and I'll come and try to help give you the game on it because <laughs> it's gonna look funny no if, if you don't worry about it though just uh, just hold on, I'll probably be there in two, three years, or even before, because I'm going to go to South Africa, inshallah, raise a lot of money, then i come down there and uh, up there, or over there, and share it with you. Yeah. So you can do a school, I mean, I mean, you know. Why not? We got to go for big. That's what the they thought we wasn't going to pull it off. But we fixing to go for big right now. The world needs that story, that exact story, and the period between then and now. If you think that they out there talking about Black Lives Matter and they mean it, the people out there, I'm sorry to say, Boy, look at here. Just hold on uh, till I get there to give you the rundown. I'm telling you, that stuff you see on TV, it's made up and it's not real. What we did, what we're doing is real, and what we want to do is real. And I moved to water close. Uh, this is the, the, the last picture I have is what y'all said to me, you know, Charlotte, Dan, yourself. Y'all wasn't teenagers then. We better get moving fast, brothers and sisters, because we are moving along. Remember, I'm the one, youngest one, and I, next week I'll be 76. We're, I mean, there's no guarantees going around. I mean, I talk about 100 and all that, but I mean, you know, I don't have no 100 guarantee. Like, if you got a, a guarantee from a law, you're going to be 100 years old. You know? So, let's get busy right now. And look how nice it's going to be. They write your name off the list when you get a certain age. Here's the old niggas going to come back and show everybody how to do it. Ain't that going to be nice? That's going to be wonderful. Old niggas, I'm not saying y'all old, but I'm headed that way. We're going to come back and show everybody how to do it. Why? Because the older you get, the more game, the more knowledge, the more information you gain. And the older you get, you ain't got foolishness, girls and all that to throw you off. Because you ain't got oh, girls. What are you talking about? Right? It's perfect. Hey, man, this is sweet. So, hey, uh, if, uh, if anybody, if I don't hear from nobody within, uh, and this is mainly the Pete, and, and 
If I don't hear from nobody in a few days, I'm going to start visiting around because I know a lot of people. I even get one of the Negro lawyers, tattletale lawyer, you know. He got y'all's, uh, all y'all's information. In fact, when Charlotte come to raise funds, he makes sure she don't get over to see me. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on. I don't say nothing, but I mean, you know, it's happening. Yes, indeed. But guess what? Number one, we're alive. That's part of it. But number two, we're still enthusiastic and energized about life. When people get our age, they're trying to find a plot in the cemetery. And they don't have no juice, hardly no enthusiasm. You know what I mean? All I can say is.